absolutely it has happened much to my great bliss i mean i couldn't have asked for a better identity one of my social media posts also says that i have a new identity or known as mother of air one it makes me immensely proud my heart is filled with gratitude in fact that this identity is there in my life now so since childhood shubhan has always been a very brainy child he was one of the toppers holistic achievements have always been on his uh, cv he went through lot of olympiads then lot of co curricular activities also and he was always the uh, number one in 10th standard his batch was in covid so he had to go through that two boards exams and all that it was quite a trying experience for him but throughout his childhood as a part of his upbringing both me and my husband and our both our families have seen to it that we raise them not as uh, people born with silver spoon and the privileged ones but to accept whatever is brought in their life with, with with a sense of gratitude that it may be here today may not be there tomorrow so what is important is you as a human what is at your core and what are your basic values your ethics and your culture now that ethics also includes how you study it's not that your father can't buy you a seat in a private medical college that's not a different that's not a thing but you are an intelligent boy you are academically brilliant so you have to give your best shot and you have to prove yourself that you want to reach to this x destination you are striving for it if you don't get 720 if you get 620 my love for you is not reduced i am not going to judge you i am not going to abuse you i am not going to say you did this and you did that but i want you to try your best give your 100% maybe 200% before you go and take your exam write your exam there is no role running around pillar to post from this university to that medical college to that private college to that person to that politician no we can do that you are privileged to get that access but you have to be able to justify all that because we do not want to spoon feed you for the rest of your life hum aapka graduation karwa denge post graduation bhi karwa denge lakho karodo rupaye deke karwa denge but jab tak aap khud khade nahi hote hain aapki personality kya hai aapka wajood kya hai aap kya banoge kal society you don't want to be known as dr sen gupta sir it was always a part i would show him many in the previous batches results we would show him see this senior of yours he must have worked very hard he scored very nice see that boy he did not work very hard see in spite of his cap- caliber he has not scored so we would have these discussions many times in the household like how you are going to approach this how is what is going to be your strategy from a very small age and he would have his own ideas about certain seniors certain uh, cousins certain family friends his children so he was seeing lot of people and he he saw so he was getting various examples various templates in front of him he did absolutely he did every time i would remind him see it's no use moral policing it's no use being sitting there on their head like a drone you will never create a response i i have once read a line somewhere that most disciplined parents produce the best liars so you have to tell him that it is your onus it's your responsibility these are the outcomes of your action if you do this you get that if you do that you get this now you choose we are i'm not going to sit there and sneak around you what are you doing what are you watching basically i have always been around with him so randomly i would always check in how are you doing how was your day how is your studies going on and then he would i remember around uh, october last was the time that of october of his 11th standard was the time that he said mama i am realizing that i am spending too much time on the phone so i'm i have now deleted all my snapchat and insta and everything to focus my i said but you need that phone because a lot of your studies go on zoom and whatsapp and all that so he said when i'm studying i'll keep it on the uh, table beside my bed not on my study table 
to study only i'll log in when i need to log in i said fine that's your choice if you need help if you get uh, tempted let me know and then he said he would come and tell me sometimes i'm just getting bored i need to talk to somebody fine go on whatsapp and talk to your friends there is no such thing as a very strict water type compartment you should give them some liberal liberty you should give them freedom once you attach a taboo to anything the child will want to go there if you say no no nothing doing you are not doing this i am snatching away your phone and all that no tomorrow he is going to be an adult if i don't treat him self control if i don't teach him self control responsibility then he will go out say have, have i any control what he is doing today in delhi no but i know that at core i have produced a boy who knows his values and ethics so i can have a peace of mind that is what is more important part of parenting his marks his score really doesn't matter if he is going to be a uh, weak minded or a, a, a person with no core it doesn't matter really that is what we need to do responsibility de rakhi hai abhi aap responsible baniye i was nothing like a silent fly on the wall if you ask shubhan about this <laughs> he will have tons to tell you about that no no i was extremely actively involved always in fact i would give him outlines of trajectories of this is the way you should study notes fir uh, how are you going to plan your time table everything i would tell him this is the way you do think about it and he would put it to practice if it worked out for him he would come for the next time mama now this is it what am i sir i am facing a problem in this area how should i do so let's work on it again so it would be like a like a team i was definitely not a fly on the wall for sure reminding him helping him to keep track of his time table feeding him taking him around to all the different tuitions and then cheering up sometimes he would be extremely stressed out some of the days he is not the types who will come and throw tantrums he tends to be very he clams up so from his face i can identify it but today has been a bad day so then i would make him talk about it i mean it's okay to have bad days it's okay you talk about it you'll feel better identify that there is an issue then try to resolve find out a solution where where did things go wrong was it just a bad test was it a out of syllabus question did you not prepare well and why is it for yourself think about it write it down in a notebook write your mistakes in a notebook and then go ahead there would be a time when i returned back home i would always engage with him in some conversation if he if he wasn't writing a test uh, how was your day how was the morning test and he would tell me a thing or two the headlines of the day and uh, dinner time would generally be relaxing discussion my younger son what's going on with him what happened in my uh, hospital or uh, you know something just uh, take a break kind of a conversation as far as possible it could be anything maybe 2 hours 3 hours i would just be sitting at home he doesn't need me to be sitting by the chair next to him he just needs me to be around just just the fact that if he comes out walks out of his room and said finds me in the next room he wants to just relax and lounge around with me or chat something i have to be sitting in that lounge area i reduced all my social uh, uh, social activities my uh, association activities i almost minimized it to zero uh, consciously that all the evenings were taken up i work the whole day then in the evening i am going to some meeting or a party or a conference or a cme it would i i was not very comfortable with i didn't want to do that so i consciously backed out uh, in fact stuff like rotary club and all we in fact exited that so that we could spend more time with him and uh, because shantanu is very busy and uh, he has lot of uh, commitments socially and uh, even academics because as you know he was doing his phd so he used to be extremely busy he used to need to travel to the uk very often so i consciously took this decision so it could be sometimes 2 hours 3 hours maybe an hour sometimes he would be in the evening in his tests in towards the end of the you know, second year then uh, he would come back at around 8:30 9 very exhausted almost 8 hours of tests whole day so i could just get half an hour with him as much as i could i maximize my time but it uh, 
to tell you the truth the number of hours doesn't matter it has to be quality time you spend with your child it is okay to be a working parent it is okay to be busy even for a mother you need to be guilt free you need to have that confidence in yourself that you are not doing a wrong thing if you are working out there because you are doing a good job you have studied you are a doctor and you are working that's fine when you come back if you are in your mobile half heartedly listening to your children or not listening to your children or you are into tv or your otts then that's not correct you come home keep your phone aside at least half an hour 40 minutes whatever upon that child's age you spend time with that child engage in a meaningful conversation i have to make him understand that you my child are an important part a priority of my life that's what i would want him to know always top three strengths very honest very sincere and honest if i tell him that this is what you made a mistake you goofed up he is not going to answer back or throw a tantrum or uh, you know go on an ego trip he may be quiet but he will analyze he will introspect and he will learn and make amends for the next time so that is his biggest biggest strength biggest strength i feel he is extremely sincere and focused on what he is trying to do uh secondly he is very transparent in his communication uh, with even is with his friends if there is an area or there is a topic he does not appreciate he is very uh he is courteously forthright that uh, i do not appreciate this or this relationship or this friendship or this engagement is not to my taste and he has the maturity to distance himself from that kind of uh, meaningless engagement that is uh, at his age it's uh, i think it's he is very mature that way so that is another of his second of his very good uh, very str- uh, strong point and uh, thirdly he is very stable come what may he never loses his cool he is very stable shant he can analyze <laughs> understand listen to you he has even as a teenager at any time I, he has never thrown a temper tantrum he is very stable he gets hurt he gets angry and there are different ways in which he expresses it but uh, those uh, throwing things i have seen teenagers go really difficult sometimes so he was never difficult no i didn't need to worry i met all his friends my answer would be you must be actively involved in knowing what company your child is keeping because a large part of their personality temperament and their uh, journey in life you must be aware of who they are hanging out with you may not be intrusive you may not be poking because as teenagers they need tons of their own space more so for the boys i will say but yes girls also but you must know who he is hanging out with there have been instances with shubhan when i have identified one or two of his uh, close group uh, peers saying that just be careful from that ex, ex- person because uh, it may be trouble uh, initially he was not he was not very sure mama what are you talking are you sure Yeah. I said, yeah, just wait and watch, and then, well, as time proved, what I was saying was correct. So then he backed off. And as I said, he is very clear in his, uh, he is very f- clear in his communication. He doesn't appreciate uh, nonsense. So as parents, we must be aware. It is a part of being uh, shaping your child. It's a part of your responsibility because you are adults. You are more experienced. you are 20 years ahead of them in 30 years ahead of them in life you have to guide them you have to coax them you have to do a hand holding there and you cannot have a template of exactly your type of child having in that friend that friend may be different coming from a different family different culture but a basic sacha to sahi hona chahiye yeah actually i am nobody to advise but i can share my views i would say 
again as i said just few minutes back just just accept your kids as they are that give them awesome. all your love and support okay? okay don't judge and don't try to put them into anybody's templates don't compare them usne okay. aise kiya usne waise kiya tumko bhi waise nahi aisa nahi hota hai so please wo mat kari at any time to any okay. child for any exam second is please spend quality time engaged in with your child it we feel that this generation they are very independent they are this they are mobile they are this. no they are children they are still small teenage children adolescents growing up trying to grow up in the big bad world they need you they may not show it but they need you they need your whole hearted love and support at all times and you should give it to them you have produced them so it is your responsibility as a parent you must 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 be there for your child guiding them not just sitting in the room and watching your mobile or you know just have uh, passive existence nahi hona chahiye active involvement honi chahiye meaningful involvement honi chahiye yeah aur teesra baat learn to accept your child's failures don't judge them don't be harsh on them don't abuse them because academics is not the only thing in life i have seen so many examples of people who were not great at academic but they are amazing individuals when you meet yeah. them at a silver yeah. jubilee reunion yeah so life always averages up so remember that kisi ka valuation karne ka jo template hai standard hai it's not academics only yeah. you have to make that child a good human being a sociable human being 